Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly channel update, which is made possible by the patrons who are currently watching my live stream. We got, we got a few people there, for some reason I sent out the notice last night, and everybody seems to be sleeping in on this Sunday morning, I don't know, or afternoon, I but we got some notices and updates, first of all, specifically for the patrons, a few things. One, for those of you guys who got some physical rewards like the poster and the the mouse pad, we have a we have a hoodie and a t-shirt and all sorts of stuff. All of that has been ordered and will be getting to my doorstep on Wednesday. Then I'll be working on signing and shipping them. So uh, hold tight on those. I will be getting them to you. They are will be here on Wednesday. Um also, uh, the patrons last month unlocked a brand new goal, in case you're uh, unfamiliar, um, which is Zelda collection videos, and they're going to be weekly. I didn't do one here the first week of August, and I hope you can forgive me because I've been working on the idea of it and how I want to make the show better, but it will be premiering this Friday, and it will be every Friday following, trusting we are above the 1750 patron goal, or milestone. Um, so... Yeah, we're going to be definitely keeping that up. Uh, so sorry, Mike's Nemesis. I haven't, I haven't looked at your, uh, I haven't looked at your info, unfortunately. I will have to, I will have to do that afterwards. Um, we also are uh, kept the MC FAQ um, milestone unlocked for another month, and so I'm going to be doing the FAQ video this week. Um, and if there's any patrons watching this live stream. Make sure, uh, or yeah, or this recording. Go to your Patreon messages because there is notices out currently for like uh, like a, 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 a form to submit your questions, and I will be do recording that video probably on Wednesday and maybe putting it out on Thursday, so I, I'd get on that. Uh, and just a, a general Patreon update: uh, we are currently at over two thousand dollars on the Patreon page, which is amazing. It's the first time we've reached over two thousand dollars. Um, however, I will be removing those whose payments didn't go through in August. Um, you give them uh, like about like a, like a week after the initial payment, because um, it will try to recharge them if they change their credit card info. But uh, unfortunately, it looks like there's some people who have incorrect info or, or trolling or something like that. So and instead, we're going to make sure we remove those people, and we're going to probably lose around fifty dollars ish off the total. So I think we might be going back below two thousand dollars. So just uh, keep that in mind. And that was your patron update. Actually, a little bit related. I haven't even realized that I have Minecraft in front of me. I'm so sorry. Look at me. I'm a horrible person. Um, but no, uh, we're on the Year Build server. And uh, the Year Build server, uh, new month actually started. The Underwater Village. Um, and as you can see, people are building a lot of stuff that will be in part of this village that uh, we're going to be implementing. And uh, it's already been ready. We're going to be recording the first episode here today sometime. I was going to say immediately after this this video or this uh, live stream, but unfortunately, now uh, there's a few issues that I want to address, hopefully, uh, with my build team before that happens. As you can see, there's a huge build that goes all the way down. Uh, so yeah, we definitely have some work that needs to be done. Um, next, uh, I just want to mention that uh, something big is returning that a lot of people have wanted to see. Uh, which is my A Link Between Worlds speedrun. So for like the longest time, everybody, people, um, I, I have, I got disconnected from the speedrun community like uh, a while ago. Like at the, not even, kind of like around the beginning of this year, after I went to AGDQ, I, I loved the going to AGDQ and I really wanted to get really good at some speedruns to actually come back um, to AGDQ this, this coming January and then like do a speedrun for it. I think that, oh, hello. And that would be awesome. Hello. I didn't even know he had somebody here. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, definitely be keeping uh, that a going. Uh, the speedruns are turning this Tuesday. I've been practicing and learning a lot of stuff on my 3DS in my living room. Um, particularly, we have, that's a smash, smash symbol, smash, smash. Smash? Smash. Is this supposed to be Smash? Smash Portal logo. Smash Portal. Okay, I was going to say, I, I thought that was Smash logo. Um, right, like I was saying, a link between world speedruns. They return on the Tuesday. 
Uh, so keep an eye out on my Twitch channel. I'm hopefully going to be doing runs every single day. Um, some exceptions to that might be on Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays. <laughs> oh man, I really don't want to take off all three of those days. Uh, maybe just Saturday and Monday. We'll see. Practice is going well, Fantastic. Um, there's um, basically three new big things that I have to um, do inside the speedrun. Uh, one of them involves the uh, Tower of Hera. There is... We basically are going to be not doing much of the dungeon. We're going to be doing what's called the Bomb Rod trick. It's a, it's a, a, a relatively new trick for me, but because uh, uh, it, it was discovered and uh, started being used after I stopped playing the game. Um, but yeah, we're basically just going to be like scaling Tower of Hera outside the walls. It's going to be quite beautiful. Um, and I also have to learn Turtle Rock Skip, which is also something very neat. Um, and hopefully my goal with this speedrun is to get it below 1 hour 35 minutes. The world record is 130 something, like it's 130 uh, in like some seconds. Uh, but I'd I like to start going for a world record, maybe. Well, let, let's uh, work on sub 145 or let's start on one sub 150 let's start on just finishing a run with this new route so uh, i hope to see you guys there for that i'm doing that thing where i'm hovering on the logo again hey look it's ganondorf mc hello ganondorf mc you're so cute boop um next up i will be emailing twitch this week about exporting every single one of my live streams uh, out to my YouTube channel in unlisted mode that currently exists. So that way, when the eventual deletion of past VODs comes around, we can make sure that we still have all of my VODs so, uh, on YouTube. So that will include all of my past speedrun streams, Minecraft Dusks that I haven't saved. Basically anything that's there on my, on my Twitch channel will be saved and exported. So hopefully we can get that done. Uh, so I have a couple uh, weird thoughts, two weird things. Uh, planning on doing so. Actually, hold on. Let's uh, answer this question here from Mike's Nemesis. Planning on doing a similar thing for Zelathon, just to have another backup. Uh, yeah, I am actually. I've already started exporting out all of Zelathon uh, Adventure. Next up is Saint Jude, then Water, and then the rest of Zelathon. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm basically yes. I'm going to be exporting every Zelathon out to my YouTube channel. Uh, I might actually talk to Twitch, see if that's actually able to be automated or something, because I don't know if I want to keep pressing all the buttons. Um, so I had some weird thoughts this week Ooh. about the temporary podcast, and this isn't like a notice or anything, it's just some thoughts that I've been ha having. I don't know how I feel about the podcast. The podcast is fun. I don't know. There, there's a lot of people that like it, but I, at the same time, I'm not sure how how much it is like strong. I don't know. The, the, the show seems weak in my channel lineup, kind of. And I love my friends, but I think it might be better if we had all my friends over on Saturday nights. But instead of doing a podcast, we did something. We did more like organized, like we did with Hat House Smash and what we do with um, Ultimate Werewolf. I think people might actually enjoy that more than what we're currently doing. I think I have a, a friend. I think I have a friend. So yeah, that's a thought. Um, not an announcement. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Oops. So yeah, uh, I don't know how everybody feels about that. If the patrons who are here like want to send some messages, then I'm okay with that. Ooh, let's go to the, uh... Actually, yeah, let's go to Th Flower Village. Flower Village is nice. I love Flower Village. So happy. Um, speaking of Hat House Smash, I do want to bring that back, uh, inside a bigger way. Uh, we've actually fallen out of it a little bit. Uh, the living room's been kind of a wreck, and my streaming setup in there has been destroyed. And people have been more interested in inside doing Ultimate Werewolf, since it kind of encompasses more people. Because not everybody is into Smash Brothers like me, Andy, Alex, etc. That being said, I want to get back into doing Hat House Smash, because Hat House Smash is really fun! And I love playing Smash Brothers, and I want to play Smash Brothers like right now, but like nobody 
wants to play Smash with me every time I ask. I'm like, does anybody want to play Smash Brothers? And I'm like, no, MC. I'm like, Argh. and I want to get better. I want to play more. I don't know. Um, everything else in terms of shows that I have are kind of keeping the course right now. Like, there's not really anything that I have to say that's like having any troubles. Orange Wool, you know, that that's doing fine. Um, Mario Kart, that's wonderful. I'm loving doing these collab series that seem to last forever. Um, Speedrunners. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I'm kind of just like, you know, hey, this this seems legitimate. Like let's let's not let's not ruin a good thing. Let's just keep the the, the content flowing, and I think I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm hopefully gonna actually also look into getting some more shows like uh, Mario Kart. Um, I don't know if they really want me on the Gmod series or anything like that. I think they already have quite a, a motley crew, and I don't want to ruin that with my voice. So I'll let them just keep doing what they're doing there. Um. Oh, some Zeldathon updates really quickly. Uh, I have pretty much selected the Zeldathon charity for this winter marathon. Uh, I've selected it, but I haven't contacted them yet. I'm gonna next. My next step is gonna be contacting uh, the the the, um, the the group, the charity, and hopefully they're gonna have support behind us. Uh, and if they do, then we're probably going to proceed ahead uh, with uh, preparing the marathon and the announcement of the marathon. Yeah, I'm very excited for the upcoming Zoltathon. Uh, the, the entire theme of this next Zoltathon is going to be entirely all about kind of it's like keeping what we had going for us inside Zoltathon Adventure. Set a $100,000 goal, but improve things where definitely improvements need to be made. The game is too small. Don't worry, guys. It'll be bigger. <laughs> um, not a ton bigger. Don't get too excited. Because I think we had a really fun thing going for us. Something that, that was really unique. It made Zelda Fawn really itself. By the way, holy god, this flower village is beautiful. Shout outs to the entire patrons who, who work here on the Air Build server and make stuff like this. It looks so good. Um, and like like I said, I will be doing Zelda Fawn uploads here soon on my YouTube channel. Everything will be on unlisted so people won't get upset that they're having like a bajillion videos uploaded to their channel. Other than that, I can't really think of many more things that I need to update y'all about. Uh, things are going good. Life is alright, I suppose. I recently uh, worked with my friend Liz and we, we cleaned my entire living room. Which means I've actually been spending a lot of time out there on my uh, laptop here. My la it's off camera. Laptop. And, uh, oh, right. Uh, Mr. Ubiquitous. Yeah. That's happening. Uh, looks like we're going to be doing our recording in about 12 days here. Our, 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 uh, we're going to be doing our filming. Uh, we have a lot of locations, um, actually. Lots of locations. And uh, I'm currently scripting episode two. Episode one is complete, and I'm very excited. Melon. 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 <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Mr. Ubiquitous season two is absolutely the best thing ever. Like, I am very excited about season two of Mr. Ubiquitous. We, like, the plot of it, people, like, one thing that's going to be really cool is we're going to keep the humor of Mr. Ubiquitous, but we're actually going to be able to plan a plot for an entire, like, series, like, before it begins. So we're not going to be, like, like, last time we, we started a plot in episode, inside episode, like, four, and then we had... We did three episodes. We did four, five, six, and seven. Okay, that's four episodes. Four, five, six, and seven. And then we disappeared for four years, and then we finished it off in one episode. This time, we actually have a plot. I'm so excited. We got brand new characters. We're going to have new locations. A real commitment to quality, making sure the special effects are out of this world. 
It's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited to get back to work on Mr. Ubiquitous with a brand new season, man. It's going to be so good. Um, oh, Fantastic wanted to know the progress on getting the Oculus. Well, it's it's ordered. It's ordered right now. Uh, I put in the order, but the problem is they won't be shipping uh, until September. I don't know when in September. All it said is new orders will be shipping in September. Uh, right now, there are orders shipping out to people who ordered like months ago here in August, but... Um, Apparently they should be caught up and we should be getting uh, our orders uh, probably October uh, is what I'm guessing. So that's what it's looking like. Looking like we're going to get our Oculus here in October. And once I do, we'll begin to work on all sorts of wackiness. I'm so excited for that. Oh, and also something to mention. I've been doing, I tested out PS4 streaming. And because like my, my big idea is I wanted to stream from my living room, you know, I wanted to be able to kind of like chill out, relax and just, you know, play some games in my living room on stream. As it turns out, uh, PS4 streaming is pretty low tier. It didn't feel right. I, I felt really uncomfortable. I felt really bored. Like I felt like the stream was boring. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to not stream this. And if I want to play games on my PS4, I'll just do it by myself or you know, with friends. I don't know. I guess my, uh, and by the way, if you guys have any questions, any of uh, the patrons who are watching right now, go ahead and ask me questions. Um, but no, uh, one last thing I'd like to mention related to all this is, um, Scott. So I've been talking with Scott and, um, he's working really hard right now to try to find a job up here, uh, around where I live. And if things go well, um, there could be some huge, huge things happening if Scott can get a job up here. Um, we've, been, we've been talking a lot about both short-term and long-term things that we want to do. And I'm very excited. What's this? Oh my god, I never found this before. What the heck? Oh my god. It looks like the build team had a fun day, man. <laughs> That's funny, man. <laughs> I don't even know. Alright, doesn't look like we have any questions coming in, so I will uh, wrap this up now. And just, I wanted to tell you all thanks for uh, watching. Everybody who's watching this channel update, thank you for uh, tuning in and, and keeping up with today with how the channel's going. I really love you guys. Thanks for really making making life special. Bye. Um, and all my patrons, thanks for allowing me to like do these uh, channel update videos and continue making videos in general. Because right now we're we're actually starting to get close to that that goal where it's freedom. Where technically I'm making enough just from Patreon alone that I should be able to like live life and that's really awesome so I'm really excited that we're getting there anyways I'm gonna peace out for now my friends thanks for watching this channel update video